we are asked, in which limits below can we use L'Hopital's rule? L'Hopital's rule, also called Bernoulli's rule, uses derivatives to evaluate limits involving indeterminate forms. The most common indeterminate form is zero divided by zero. However, if a limit is in any of the indeterminate forms listed here, L'Hopital's rule does apply, which states the limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x divided by g prime of x. And the idea is that this limit will be easier to evaluate than the original limit. But again, we can only apply L'Hopital's rule if the limit is in one of these indeterminate forms. If it's not in one of these forms, L'Hopital's rule does not apply. Going back to our exercise, we are only checking to see if L'Hopital's rule applies, we will not be determining the limits. Looking at the first limit, we get the limit as x approaches zero of sine two x divided by two x. As x approaches zero, sine two x approaches sine zero. And as x approaches zero, two x approaches zero. And because sine zero equals zero, this limit is in the form of zero divided by zero, which is one of the indeterminate forms in which L'Hopital's rule applies, and therefore we could apply L'Hopital's rule to help determine this limit. Now if needed, we can check that sine zero equals zero by using the unit circle, or by looking at the graph of f of x equals sine x. On the unit circle, sine theta is equal to the y coordinate, and here's zero radians on the unit circle, and notice how at this point on the unit circle, the y coordinate is zero, verifying sine zero equals zero. Or, by looking at the graph of the basic sine function, which is graphed here, notice that zero radians, the function value is zero. Next, we have the limit as x approaches pi over six of sine x divided by the quantity pi over six minus x. As x approaches pi over six, sine x approaches sine pi over six. And the quantity pi over six minus x approaches zero as x approaches pi over six. And sine pi over six is equal to one half. And therefore this limit is in the form of one half divided by zero which does not fit one of the indeterminate forms for L'Hopital's rule, and therefore L'Hopital's rule does not apply. And again, if we needed to, we can verify sine pi over six equals one half by going back to the unit circle. Here's pi over six. At this point on the unit circle, notice how the y coordinate equals one half, which means sine pi over six is one half. Next, we have the limit as x approaches zero of the quantity one minus e to the x divided by sine five x. As x approaches zero, the numerator approaches one minus e to the zero, and the denominator approaches sine zero. e to the zero is equal to one, and therefore the numerator approaches zero, and we already know that sine zero is equal to zero. This limit is in the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero, and therefore L'Hopital's rule does apply. And then finally we have the limit as x approaches pi over two of cosine x divided by the quantity two x minus pi. As x approaches pi over two, cosine x approaches cosine pi over two. In the denominator, as x approaches pi over two, two x minus pi approaches two times pi over two minus pi. Cosine pi over two is equal to zero. Again, we can verify this on the unit circle, as well as looking at the graph of the basic cosine function. On the unit circle, cosine theta is equal to x. Here's pi over two. At this point on the unit circle, the x coordinate is zero, verifying cosine pi over two equals zero. Or, looking at the graph of the basic cosine function, which we should recognize here, notice cosine pi over two equals zero. In the denominator, two times pi over two is equal to pi, pi minus pi is equal to zero. This limit is also in the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero, and therefore L'Hopital's rule does apply. I hope you found this helpful.